Oh, wow, another Terra Firma Punk episode? Again? Already? <laughs> Man, this Etho guy, he's sure on a roll with all these videos. That's right. It's, uh, he's gotta take a, take a step down pretty soon, you know? He's, he's, can't keep up with watching them all. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, so I've been, a uh, little confession to make. I've been addicted to playing Don't Starve lately, guys. I finally tried out the Hamlet updates. I still haven't played Shipwrecked, honestly, and, uh, oh, it's so addicting. I, I just want to play it all the time now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I finally, finally got into the, the Minecraft again here. Let's do it. Let's get into the Terraforma Punk. So, if I recall last episode, we were going to make a slime farm today. Uh, the idea was we can make these slime arrows, which spawn in slimes. We can kill them, we get, uh, get the slime balls, obviously, but the big thing we're looking for is the experience is pretty valuable. So that is kind of the plan here. The only thing we're going to need to figure out is how to get some feathers to make these arrows. Uh, let's see. Let's grab some blocks here, some building blocks. Go for the dolomite. Uh, probably we'll build it down below here, and we'll just start off with that today. See how it goes. Should be should be a fairly simple thing. I was thinking about maybe over here. Kind of dig out a, a bit of an area. Yeah, so I was trying to think about how we should build this farm, because there's there's a lot of different ways we could do it, right? Um, I think we'll just do something like this. I, I mined out like a five wide area. The big slimes, they kind of need like a three by three by three area. So, we got a three by three here, yeah. And I want to have like a two high area we can walk under, like this. And then we're going to have a block in the middle here. This is to stop the, the big slimes from falling down here. I only want the little slimes to fall down to this, this lower section. Um, and then this top part's going to be for containing the big guys that can actually hurt us, you know? Okay, so I think I'm going to put the dispenser over here. We'll probably just use one dispenser to keep it simple. I know I, I think I talked about like using lots of them, but uh, probably don't need to actually. The more I think about it. Because one dispenser can shoot out the slimes pretty quickly. Very good, very good. So we got some windows installed now as well. It's all contained uh, that we can barely see through because we're using the old glass texture in this old mod pack. Um, so there's a thing we got to do here, I think. Last last episode, we found out if we shoot one of the slimes with a slime arrow, it'll create like a ghost slime, a, a glitch. And to stop that from happening, I'm going to put a block in front of the dispenser so the arrow always hits a block and not a slime. Uh, if that makes sense. I think it's very important. Otherwise, this farm's going to fill up of, of fake slimes. Um... And yeah, and then we just gotta throw this in. I think it's done. So, and hook up a clock to this is the other big thing. But let's just try it as it is right now. So the little slimes, they'll fall down the lower section right away. Oh, he, he looks kind of glitched out too, though. Wait a sec. I guess because he got, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Uh, but he created a fire and blew out the glass. Alright. So, yeah, some of these mobs are the rainbow ones, which have special powers. Which might complicate things a bit. Looks like we'll have to do some adjustments for that. But the medium slimes, they won't be able to fall down. Let's, let's spawn in a few here. Oh, some are dying. Like, right away. Why is that happening? Hmm. Kind of thought we would, uh... Oh, I can't really even hit the big ones. So yeah, we'll have to make a couple adjustments to this. I'm gonna try chisel out the top part of this block so it's a slab. Maybe that'll make me able to hit this guy then. Yeah, okay, that's good. And then when he splits, they all stay up there still. <laughs> Those rainbow ones, though. I don't know, they're gonna give me trouble, I, I can tell. Okay, so it looks like they're going to blow out all this glass eventually, and I don't want to keep replacing it. So I just put a solid block in the center here to keep the, the bigger guys inside. And then when all the glass is gone, we'll just leave it like that. <laughs> I think it's fine. Uh, let's test it out just a little bit more here, see if there's anything we're missing. Otherwise, I think it's about it's about good to go. Just got to hook up the clock. Oh, that's what happened last time. That's why my health is so low. 
Okay, so when we spawn it in manually, don't stand on top. That's dangerous. Okay, how are we doing? We still got eight left. Almost out though. Um, this guy can't hurt me, right? I think that's a glitch. And then we just stand underneath and we spam click. Now, I don't think there's any way to mimic sweeping the edge either. That would be pretty ideal for this. Uh, but I'll think about it. Maybe there's something we could use. But yeah, we got level 30 here. So we can do a good enchant enchantment now. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> so something something caught me on fire there. I didn't think that was possible. Must have been a rainbow little guy. The little guys shouldn't be able to damage you though, but I guess if they're special they can. Oh, we gotta take a little break from this. Finally got some ice to spawn in. <laughs> Been waiting for it. Uh, winter's almost over. We need to get some ice here for our pantry. Uh, so I'm gonna harvest as much as I can here while it's while it's cold enough. All right, very good. We got two and a half stacks of ice from that, so that's not bad. Not too bad. Do we have any left in here? Just about ran out. Whew. Uh, as far as food goes, we got a decent amount left here. Not too worried about it. I haven't really been growing many crops even. Awesome, so I made ourselves a comparator. It's a little bit of a different recipe than normal. I think we had like 17 of these quartz though, so I just used one of those. Um, so let's make the, the clock for this thing too. So I'm gonna put the lever here actually, I think is a good idea. We'll bust out this glass. I'm gonna put some torches on the back here just to run the redstone up. And then put a block in between. That's not how to do it. <laughs> uh oh, wait a sec, wait a sec. We need the torch on the block. There we go. Then let's put the redstone above. And... Oh, actually we can just do it like this, right? Take out these two blocks, put in... Put in these, and... Like that, yeah. Comparator over here, in subtract mode. And that should work. Excellent. Okay, so now we just need to farm up a whole ton of slime arrows and we'll have all the experience we want pretty much. Let's see here. So if we go there, we hit bend, we hit draw, we hit bend, we hit punch, and it doesn't work. <laughs> but this time, it works. Okay, good. So check this out. We got two picks here, two iron picks, and we're going to be able to do our first level 30 enchantment. We'll actually be able to do two because we, we made it to 33 here. And I'm pretty excited about this. I'm really hoping we'll get fortune because I'm curious if that's like, I've been really curious if that works on uh, the terraformer craft ores. Oh, it used all 30 levels. Oh, we're that far back in the versions. <laughs> Dang, I thought we were going to be able to do two there. What do we get? We got efficiency four and unbreaking three. Okay, so it's a it's a good pick. Nothing special about it. That works out pretty great for us though, because our other pick was getting close to broken. Now we have a replacement if we need it. Uh, next up on our agenda, I think we're gonna go get some iron. Is the plan? We're gonna head out to this iron deposit near the ocean, and we'll try to do a few things on this trip as well if we can. So yeah, we're we're getting low on the iron. I think we should bring some rope with us, just in case we find some of those chickens or fletchlings. We'll bring those back for our slime farm, because we need feathers for that. Um, I was going to make a bunch of barrels so that we can get some salt water on this trip as well. Bring those back for potions. Oh, and I should get some speed potions before we leave. So I can get there quicker. <laughs> we'll load up Chester, though, with a few barrels. And we're off. All right, so check it out. It looks like there's still a decent amount of iron here. I know we've been here like twice already and and taken iron, but there was so much. Awesome. So we got a bunch of iron again. Uh, we actually did tap out that deposit, so I'm going to remove it from our list here. It's, it's basically empty now. Uh, we got just about eight of these vessels full of limonite, the rich, rich quality stuff as well. So that... Works out to, I think, 175 ingots of iron, which is a decent amount. We will use that up pretty quickly, though, because now that we're in the Steel Age, we're using so much iron. Chester is, like, so awesome, by the way. <laughs> I'm loving this guy. Greatest thing that happened to us. 
Good stuff. So we've returned to our home base here, and now we're going to process some of the salt water into brine and probably witch water for potions. So we got to take one bucket out of the salt water barrels and then replace that with a vinegar bucket. So we take one vinegar out of here, and when we put it in here, it makes the brine. And then if we want to turn that into like awkward potions, witch water stuff, then we just have to add a piece of nether wart to it and seal it. And do that for a bunch of these. All right, so we made a bunch of witch water here for potions. We got some brine for preserving things, and we still have a bunch of salt water left over in case we need it for something else. Um, I wanted to check out another kind of weird recipe here. So there's a way to turn like a three minute speed potion into an eight minute one without using redstone in a brewer. We have to use cyan dye, which is kind of strange. <laughs> uh, cyan dye in fresh water. So we grind down malachite copper into the powder, and it's a green powder. Mix that with lapis powder, and we get cyan. And then I think we just put in a, a bucket here, and, and we get the... Uh-oh. Okay, maybe it wants a lot then. Maybe it's not as easy to get as I thought. So I think it said one for 400 MB, right? Yeah, 400 MB. So six times four. That's only like two buckets worth, actually. That's not very good. Um, how much is in here? I'll tell you what, let's, let's take a brand new bucket from Chester. Not bucket, barrel. Uh, we will just siphon out some of this into here. We'll just put two in, and then I think if we put five dye in, that'll work. Yeah, so that converted over now. Um, and how much does it take per conversion? A thousand, so this only does two. That's not very good, <laughs> actually. Um, so that means we can only make two speed potions with that. It's a little disappointing. I thought it would be, oops, I thought it would be better. Oh, and I clicked empty. No, I was supposed to put it in here. Oh, man, and I guess we don't have any more green dye, so we can't test it now. <laughs> Whoopsies. Uh, I'm going to look around the forest near our house to see if we can find any pheasants, those those birds. That way we can get some feathers off of them if we bring them home. Uh, I thought I saw one a while ago, but I don't remember where it was. So, just hoping to get lucky with it. By the way, I was looking at the comments on last episode, and I was so confused because everybody, almost everybody in the comments was talking about automatons. And I was like, why is, why is everyone mentioning automatons? And I thought about it for a long time. Couldn't figure it out. And then I finally realized the whole episode, I thought this said enter the automation. It says enter the automaton. <laughs> And I was so confused when we finally unlocked this. It's like I was expecting, oh, we're gonna we're gonna start making machines and automating stuff with machines, and we got we got Chester instead. Because Chester's an automaton. <laughs> and it all makes sense now. Oh, this is great. Not only did we find the pheasants, but we found both a male and a female. A pair. Don't think you can breed them though, actually. I'm not, I'm gonna have to look that up. I think only chickens can be bred. Yeah, so I checked it out, and according to the wiki page, you can't really do anything with them. Like, they don't, you can't breed them, you can't tame them. Uh, I don't think they lay eggs. This nest box is for the chickens, not for the pheasants. But I'm going to put it in there on the off chance that maybe there's a slight chance the wiki page is outdated or incomplete, and maybe we'll get eggs. <laughs> but I highly doubt it. Um... Also, they'll despawn naturally, unless you attach a rope to them like we did, then it stops them from despawning. So these guys should be around forever. And all we gotta do is like shift right click them, I think. And you pluck a feather. So that takes five... Five HP out of them. You can say he's at 45 now. 48, 49. So they do recover though. Oh, that time it did nine damage. Oh, maybe it ignores the recovery. Like, maybe it's, like, only 9 or 10 in their whole lifetime. I was kind of hoping they would recover and then we could get infinite feathers from them. 
But now I'm wondering. Or like we could throw a regen potion at them. This guy's back up to 40. Let's see if it goes down to 30 or what would it be? 25 maybe? Went down to 30. Oh. Okay, I gave him time to recover here. So he's back up to full 50 HP. Last time we plucked them, he went down to 30. So let's see if he'll go to 25. He does. Okay, so it's a limit of 10 per lifetime. There's no way to get infinite feathers. Which is really unfortunate. Because <laughs> that's what I was hoping for. Uh, so we're going to have to find chickens. Pheasants aren't like a, a permanent feather source. Alright, so next up here, let's do a few quests in the quest book. I saw there's three really easy ones that we kind of skipped over. First one is to make uh, spectacles. From forestry. Alright. That's it. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take the frame. We got to make the carpenter's hammer and the chisel. So that is possible with bismuth bronze as well. So it's cheap. We do this for the hammer. Where'd those go? Chester, did you take, did you take the bismuth? No. Oh, they're over here. <laughs> Were they invisible or am I blind? Because I checked. All right. That one. And then I think it's just one ingot for the chisel. Oh, maybe two. Oh, I better double check. Okay, let's let's look at the book. And take the reward bag. Chisel is just one. I guess it matters where it is or it might need to be iron. No, oh, it has to be in a specific spot. Okay, I see. Claim that one. We get... Carpenter's tiles. Open our bags. Bookshelves, not bad. Okay, well, doing those three unlocked four other easy quests here, so let's do those as well. Uh, carpenter stairs, trap door, door, and bed. All of those fairly easy. These uh, carpenter blocks are just sticks and planks. So, stairs, door, uh, trap door, and bed. Uh oh. Got that one wrong. Okay, let's double check that one. Bed is... Oh, position matters. <laughs> and that keeps getting me today. So yeah, if you guys don't play modded very much, sometimes it'll say shapeless crafting and sometimes it's shape crafting. Shape crafting means the position of the materials matters. Um, so we could use silk or wool for that. We used wool. Silk is from spider string. Okay, so those four are done. Hand them in. And I'm going to pick the green die. Oh, snappers. <laughs> it has finally happened, everybody. Uh, I was in a bit of a building mood, so I worked on this room a bit. We got the walls up now. Still missing a, a little something, but over here, oh my goodness, we have a ceiling, everybody. Feels a little weird to me. I don't know if it's because it's ugly or something, or if I'm just not used to it, but we are protected from spiders landing on our head finally. <laughs> uh, now, don't be confused, though. This is not a roof. It's just the ceiling. I didn't, I didn't do the top part, just the in the room, you know? So, we technically don't have a roof still. <laughs> okay, let's look at something here together. Because this has been really confusing me. I've been trying to figure out, like, what is the machine we start with if we want to do automation stuff? Is it the squeezer? Is that what we start with? Well, if we look at the squeezer, we look at the brass piston. Oh, we have to craft this in a carpenter. Okay, but the, the carpenter requires seed oil to function, which we get from the squeezer. So, it's... We don't make a carpenter. That's not first. It has to be... Oh, the metal press. That's another way we can make it. Okay. What does the metal press require? If we look under engineer block, that's one of the things needed to craft it. It's like, okay, we could go for an engine. Oh, we need a carpenter. With olive oil. With the squeezer. <laughs> okay, that's not going to work. Uh, what other options do we have here? Uh, that's all carpenter recipes. So it's got to be here, right? It's got to be this thing. Well, to make that, we need the rolling machine. Okay. Look at the rolling machine. And we need brass pistons. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> so we gotta be careful here. This seems like seems like there's no starting point. We do have two of those. We've gotten these from quest rewards. And I see we can get more of them from quest rewards. But if we're not careful with these, if we use them up on something we shouldn't, we might not be able to do automation at all. Because we need them to, to start it. Okay, guys, we're going to go down a journey here. So I think we will try to do a crazy quest to finish off this episode. We left off on Just Watch under this chain. And then beyond that, we start into making RF power and stuff. This, though, is an insane one. So it starts off pretty simple. Glass panes, brass plates, we have those. But then it wants this clockwork mechanism. And this is where we go down the rabbit hole a little bit. So thankfully, clock, a little bit crazy. We've gotten a couple of those, I think, off of mob drops. So that saves us a huge, huge amount of work with this. Uh, more brass plates. We need cast iron shafts. So this is made, I guess, from pig iron in a coke oven. And pig iron is the first step of making steel, so we're gonna fire up the blast furnace here. We have three ingots made already. We need eight total for this recipe, so we're gonna have to do a couple batches here. We'll throw in our charcoal, our, our iron, and then our flux. And then I think we're ready to go. We're gonna light it. Okay, so this first batch is being processed. It's almost empty. It now it totally emptied. So some people were saying if I do another batch like right after, you don't have to wait for it to heat up. So I want to try that out. Uh, let's get another batch going here. Grab some charcoal, grab some iron, throw it in again and see if like we can we can process it instantly instead of having to wait like three minutes like we always do. Okay, charcoal go in. Uh, flux go in. Okay. Add a couple charcoal on top in case it needs it. And now let's see like if we pump this. Oh no, the temperature went all the way back down to zero again. Oh, and it's not even lit. Let's light it again. Maybe I gotta do it like before it runs out. Like it, like before the ore runs out and add it. Yeah, because it's starting completely over again. Okay, and while we wait for the blast furnace to heat up again, I threw in some of these armor shards into the forge. They're heating up right now. They got to get to uh, yellow star star temperature, and then they just turn into these night metal ingots. And we need these to craft a couple things. We actually don't have enough, but we need a night metal loop, and we also need a full block of them. Yeah, full block. And three other ingots. So 12 more ingots besides this. We have two, uh, seven. We need five more. Hmm. That's quite a bit. Keep it going. Yeah, now the ore is get, getting put into the crucible here. It's melting down. So as that happens, I'm going to try add more ore into this. You see how it's going down? Uh, I'm going to throw eight on top. Of course, I pick it up. I always do. <laughs> so annoying. Uh, four more ore went in there. I'm going to throw charcoal on top and see if it'll like keep topped off here. And then we can just process lots at once without having to restart it every time. All right, that's let's take that out. Looks like we're running out of charcoal. Where'd the charcoal go? We need a better containment thing for it, I guess, like more blocks around it. Because they keep bouncing out instead of going in. But if we can keep that topped off, it looks like it'll just keep running, which is nice. Oh, actually, no, that doesn't work. If you look at the temperature, it cooled down completely again. So it's at faint red, and it's got to heat up all the way again. So even if you add it, like, before it runs out of stuff, it doesn't matter. It has to start over every time. All right, so we got enough pig iron now. We're going to throw that into our Coke oven. That's going to turn into the special stuff. This stuff, yeah. Cast iron ingot in 4,000 ticks. So that, that's pretty quick. It doesn't take too long. Um, but the big problem we're going to have is we need more of this night metal. And, like, throughout the entire series, <laughs> we've only collected about a half of what we need for this thing. I think we got to fight these guys mainly. Uh-oh. And, like, they're pretty tough. Actually, I'm almost dead. Oh, our health magically came back. 
<laughs> Still haven't figured out what does that, but I don't mind when it does. Um, he's running away. He's running away. And we got no shards, I don't think. But they do occasionally drop them. This is very rare. Can you get through that? Oh, he can. <laughs> oh, man, I thought that was going to trap him. Yeah, any Chester? Oh, he got two. So you need nine of those to make one ingot, though. Oh, we got another one. So this is where a looting sword would be really nice. Uh, I think we killed about ten of those guys, and we did get a cluster off of one of them. So that's equivalent to an ingot when it's melted down. So beyond uh, what we got there, we need like three and a half more ingots. So maybe three or so more night times. <laughs> we should get enough stuff. Uh, but yeah, I think we're going to have to wrap up the episode because uh, that's not happening today. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching as always, and I'll see you again in the next one. Take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye.